Hello everyone. Tonight I wanted to show off my NES collection that I've built up over the past couple of years. I only in the past recent history have I have had uh, quite a collection going on here. I am definitely over 100 as you can see even here. It's 20 per shelf just going straight and I also got a box here to go through, but let's just go through this in no particular order. I started collecting in 2018 full time when I started going on the convention scenes, and this year I've been going to quite a lot of them, and I'm going to be going to my fourth one for the year in a couple of weeks, uh, the Connecticut con Convention Retro World Expo, so hopefully that's going to be a really, really good one. And Lucky for me, the hotel is close by, and I won't need to pay a uh, up ton of Ubers just to get back and forth. So let's go through all this and see what we got right now. Up there, I got my Zeldas right now, the uh, the Link, and the first one, which I actually have a, a double one right now, but that's up on eBay and in, in my closet for purchase for the purchase purposes. This one's the better looking one even though it has the black blob on it and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get, get that off. But I have played through it. Bought it probably about two or three months ago. Adventure of Link. Um, a couple of my older ones from my childhood. Star Wars and Bugs Bunny's Crazy Castle. Uh, Donkey Kong Classics. Bart Simpson vs. the Space Mutants, Golgo 13, Bugs Bunny's Birthday Blowout. This is my um, Japanese Kirby Famicom Kirby's Adventure, which I walked into at a local game store and just knew that that was going to be my pick for the day. And those are my five, or my three screw black boxes, Excite Bike, Pinball, Popeye, Pro Wrestling, and Super Mario Brothers, and Wrecking Crew, and Solomon's Key, which I got a couple weeks ago, and I played it on the Switch, and I'm like, man, this is pretty good. I missed out on this on the Wii days, so I went all the way in for a full coffee. <laughs> then we got Final Fantasy, which... I really gotta make a serious playthrough with this. Even on the Wii days I had it and it's still on my Wii. And I think I actually did enjoy it. I just gotta commit to it. Then we got Rescue the Embassy Mission. Um, it was a, it was a want and need at one point and I definitely need to play through it. It just knocked it over. It must have been a fire flower. Whatever. Then we got uh, Kabuki Quantum Fighter which I knew I better get before this convention. I think that was my last pick before the big hurricane. And then we got Zexus. And then Rambo. The Battle of Olympus right next to it, of course. Batman. Yes, I definitely brought Batman from the hurricane battered land. See, what I mean by that is I had to stop collecting after September 2019 because of Hurricane Dorian and after a year of it I decided to mess it up I'm gonna just go ahead and start collecting again and like I'll eventually show you what my first four uh, picks were from that uh, time because I definitely remember them then I consider this the AVGN corner Jaws, Karate Kid, Back to the Future Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, and Ghostbusters. Yeah, there's more to add to it, and I had my Ninja Turtles there, but now it's sitting with Manhattan Project, but I'm not getting a little ahead of myself there. Um, like I said, none of this is really in any particular order, so... Uh, there's Trojan, which is a Capcom game, but it's not a purple one, but we'll get to that in a second. Then there's my Othello, and then Ice Hockey, Tetris, there's my Kirby's Adventure, which I have the box for, but we'll get to that in a, sec in a few minutes. Then my Bionic Commando, Double Dragon, Sesame Street 1, 2, 3, and I have my 
what I do do is just put my themes together and so here's my cap my Disney Capcoms uh, from Mickey Mouse and then, and then my Mega Man's that I have my codename Viper my Strider I got three Mega Man's out of six the other ones are a bit more on the expensive side Street Fighter 2021 20, Willow Yo Noid which I have manual for then I have Chippendale's Rescue Rangers but that's still in the Bahamas but I think that's my only Disney Capcom not there my Little Mermaid which does need a uh, not a label upgrade, but a label fix. Huh, it's not gonna do that right now, which I guess that's a good thing. And we got the Disney Adventure in the Magic Kingdom, which I have the box for back home. There's 1943, which I have 1942 back in, back home in the Bahamas. And there's my Star Tropics. And there's my RC Pro Am and my Ninja, Ninja Turtles. And I gotta stop sitting on Ninja Turtles too. I gotta get that. I don't know why I keep skipping it. And whenever I see it at flea markets and all that. Maybe this Saturday. And this is the five screw shelf. I uh, keep everything five screw here. All my black box five screws. Then what we got up here, Wizards and Warriors. Wizards and Warriors. Then Legend of Kage. Castlevania 1, Russian Attack, Commando, Ghosts and Goblins, Raid on Bungling Day, which I have the manual for too. And I don't need to keep listing all these, but I need Donkey Kong. But I'm, I've been sitting on that for very many reasons, because one, I see it for $40 locally, and I don't know if I can pay all that much for just Donkey Kong, especially since I have Donkey Kong Classics up there and many other ways to play Donkey Kong. I really don't need to knock that card out. I paid 25 for the Donkey Kong Jr. and probably 35 for Donkey Kong 3, but that was a different case because that's Donkey Kong 3. That's like Mario Brothers probably was 25. See, a lot of these were big bites that I had to make at certain points and times and just was like, eff it. Like, here, a 10 yard fight. You know what? I found it for $10 in box, but I sat on it and didn't get it. And then I didn't, and then I never got, saw it again. Like sometimes you gotta make hard decisions. But eventually I got my own 10 yard fight, which was something I needed to knock out for my, and it's just dumb 10 yard fight. Like that's, that's the life of a newbie collector. And golf, which is a personal favorite of mine. Then gumshoe, which I can never really use. Then dumb urban champion. Balloon Fight and Clue Clue Land were a little bit on the pricier side for what they were, but they were necessary knockouts. And I think I did, no, no I, no, I didn't get Balloon Fight locally. I got that at a convention. Um, that one has a little bit of marker on, on it, but I don't think I can really do anything about that since it's on the label. Anyway, down here is the other sets. There's my silver boxes. Which, Bad Dudes, is not a silver box. However, it just has a good match with Rad Racer, Metroid, and Kid Icarus' style. And there's Adventure Island and, and Adventure Island 2. And we got Fester's Quest, Paperboy, NES Golf, Yoshi's Cookie, Mappy Land, Where's Waldo, Wheel of Fortune, and set up some yellow labels for the sake of the video and Dragon Warrior just like Final Fantasy I gotta play through real good and I actually caught that inbox for five dollars but that's only because it didn't have ma maps and manuals and stuff and there's my Super Mario Brothers 3 and my Super Mario Brothers 2 this one's a Canadian release see Canadian French print then Castlevania 2 and 3 you know, one thing really peculiar about my collection is I have all of Castlevania, but the Contra series keeps evading me. I don't have any of the Contra games. It's so weird. But then there's a few more Konami titles. Jackal, Goonies 2, Boy and His Blob, Punch-Out, both Punch-Outs actually. And at the convention I got uh, uh, Mike Tyson's for 35 
uh, bought from all good, uh, sh uh, should I name drop her or not? Now I won't name drop her, but it was somebody at a convention, she is a bit well known, and thank you very much for selling me your Mike Tyson's punch out for the cheapest at that particular convention. And then we got Super Pitfall, and which actually I like Super Fit, I like Super Fit, I, I like Super Pitfall in, in my own way, you know. Like it's it's fun. It's dumb. It's dumb how you die so easily. But I just kind of like playing it. Then there's Fact Xanadu, which I haven't really gone through that much, but I probably should. <laughs> I you know you, when you're an adult, you just don't have the one the worry to commit to your games like that. You just I just you just collect to have a wall full of it. Then we'll go through our just we we I just need to get a bigger shelf. But these are. I rotate the games so these get their C, but there's a Game Genie in this which doesn't work. I don't know if it's my dummy boxed NES, but this Game Genie just never worked for me. I don't know why. So we got Pinbots. The lighting's not that good here, I'll just bring it over. We got Pinbot, Casino Kid, Anticipation, River City Ransom, which needs a label upgrade. Huh. I'm not ready to sell it yet, though. I st I, River City Ransom's a keeper in your in your collection. When I see the label upgrade for an affordable price, I'm sure I'll buy it. Then we got Krusty's Funhouse, Iron Sword. I. See Wizards and Warriors 3 locally for a good price, but it's good price because of label damage. Go figure. But maybe I'll take a second look at it and maybe I'll just glue the the loose piece back on. Then we got Snoopy's Sports Spectacular and Snake Rattle and Roll, Clash of Demon Head. It was 45 with manual, which I just I needed to get it eventually and I so I got it. And I got both my tiny tunes. Classic Concentration, Billy Bayou, Bayou Billy, Double Dare, Marble Madness, Legend of Shirazalade, which, man, you know, this was, this was a, good, a pretty fun game, like, I was gonna be purchasing Destiny of an Empire that week, but I ended up not doing so and just got Solomon's Key that week. Then I'm like, all right, let me get this for my free game because that was my um, my trading, my card, my card credit day. I'm sure your local video game store does an equivalent of that, where they press, where they press a hole into your card, and that was my pick for the day. And I'm like, man, this is actually pretty cool. Like, this is sort of on instead of like Destiny of an Empire being like Chinese, this is like Arabian Nights RPG. And, it's just another cool RPG on my backlog, which I'm sure I gotta someday commit to playing my games a bit more. Um, that's sort of it for the NES. Uh, I do have my top loader NES, which is far more efficient to play. Uh, I'll probably play a little bit of Final Fantasy tonight. Probably gotta at least start up the prologue. But I do want to show my Super Nintendo collection right now, too. It's not bare bones, because... <coughs> most of my collection is actually back in the Bahamas. But I needed a few of my cards over here just to have a little bit more substantiation for my Super Nintendo with my Super Game Boy in there and all my other sets. Uh, Bubsy, cool spot. Bubsy I actually like. I don't care what anybody says. I It was a childhood classic of mine, and... I've always liked it. There's Power Rangers, Cool Spot, which I gotta play through one day real good. Street Fighter, gotta have Street Fighter. Final Fight, Sister Game. Final Fantasy 2, gotta find Final Fantasy 3 at the next con. Um, Mickey Mouse, Magical Quest, uh, Buster Bust Loose. And here's a couple Mario uh, ROM hack collections and Conquer's Hyrule Tale. In those shoe boxes is my N64 collection, but I'm not gonna go through that because that is just way too big right now. But over here is my NES uh, boxes, and 
plus my Switch title has been real small. But, um, like I got a Mario Odyssey double, which I'm gonna eBay out soon, probably. But Star Wars, like, that's not the original box for my copy up there, but, like, I still needed to Frankenstein it and make it up. Then there's my Excite Bike from the last con before the big hurricane. Um, and it just, I had pinball there, and, and I needed a, another black box box to uh, pair it with. And I also had Rad Racer from the Bahamas, which I rescued from the Ravaged Island. It just looks good next to pinball and other black box games. There's the Mappy Land, and there's Sesame Street 1, 2, 3. There's some um, Crystallis. I don't think I even name dropped that. Then there's uh, Punch Out. Then 1943, and then Kirby's Adventure, and then my Power Rangers DVD, which is a good bookend to keep all this stuff from falling. <laughs> and there's my bare bones PlayStation 4s, and just my just things I watch and do. Pokemon, Stevo, combination. What a combination. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, and I may make some videos for the con and. Maybe I'll even upload what I have from my last con up here now. We'll see.